Okay, we're going to look at one more question here where where they give you a quadratic sequence, but they give you an x value here instead of a number. Well, you still string the numbers, the first the terms out, the first term, the second term, but the third term is x, and the fourth term is 45. Well, we still do the same thing. We subtract. To figure out x, we go 15 minus 6 is 9. But we write it down as a, uh, we express the difference as x minus 15. Just remember, it's always the um, right, the, the term minus the term uh, that precedes it. So the right minus the left, 45 minus x goes there. Well, we know what happens with it. Well, we, gotta, we have to find the second difference. So we go x minus 15 minus 9. Well, that gives me x minus 24. Then we have to go 45 minus x, and then we have to minus x minus 15. So you have to be careful. Put brackets. People mess this up all the time. So you go minus x minus x. That gives you minus 2x. But if you go 45, 45, uh, 45 minus minus 15, that's plus 60. And why are we able to let these two things equal each other? Because they're second differences, and the second differences equal each other. That's what makes it a quadratic sequence. Then once we've got that, we just solve the equation. So we'd add 2x, we'd get x plus 2x is 3x. We'd add 24, we'd get 3x equals 84. Then we divide both sides by 3, and we're happy that we get an integer. If you get a weird fraction or something, you know you did it wrong, go back and try and figure it out. X equals 28. And that's how you solve for X. The main idea is you still, you do the first differences with X, and then you do the second differences again. And just be really careful and use brackets to make sure you get the right signs. You have to practice these ones a bit and be really careful of your negatives and your brackets. Easy to make a mistake. Okay.